Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. I'm Allison, and on this channel, we do yoga inspired by the moon and the seasons. Subscribe now to join us on that journey. Today, we're celebrating March's full moon, widely known as the Worm Moon. March's full moon is known by many names, such as the Crow Moon, the Goose Moon, the Spring Moon, and the day is cut in two moon. Most commonly, however, it is known as the worm moon. As the ground thaws and warmer rains fall, earthworms move towards the surface of the soil and make their presence known. Despite their unassuming nature, worms are vitally important to soil health. They play a pivotal role in aeration, nutrient cycling, water distribution, and fostering plant vitality. The full worm moon is an invitation to remember the small creatures of our world. Pollinators like bees and butterflies play a crucial role in the growth and development of our crops and flowers. The tiniest fish, guardians of coral reefs, form the bedrock of food chains on which we all depend. Even birds, bats, frogs, and praying mantises contribute to ecosystem equilibrium by helping with pollination, seed dispersal, and the regulation of other species. As we transition into spring, relishing the blossoming of life, today's 35-minute yoga class is an homage to the small ones who do so much and ask for nothing in return. Today, we bow down to the small ones, remembering that all living things depend upon each other in the great web of life. Once again, welcome. I'm so glad you could be here today. I recommend having one blanket for today's class, especially if you have sensitive knees. Also, this will be a bit of a Vin Yin class. In this case, it will be slow flow yoga with some yin poses sprinkled in. And these are nice, deep, generally passive stretches to get you in that mindful moon mood. So without further ado, take a second to hit the like button and let's begin in a comfortable seat. Arriving. Allow the eyes to close or the gaze to soften. Start to deepen the breath, watching it flow in and out of the nostrils. The inhales lengthen the spine, the exhales soften the body. Inhale the hands to heart center for today's intention. With the full moon above me and fertile soil beneath me, I embrace the cycles of growth and change. With every breath, I play a sacred part in the great web of life. And taking that with us, blink the eyes open. Inhale, interlace the fingers. Exhale, press the palms away, rounding the spine, bowing the head. Inhale, palms to sky, soft bend in the elbows to create a full moon shape. Exhale, release the arms, float down to the earth. Again, inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, interlace, pressing palms away. Inhale, full moon rises. Exhale, arms float down. Inhale, hands scoop to heart center. And you can continue on your own from here, moving slowly and taking deep breaths with each part of the cycle.
the next time the arms release, set them behind you. Bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor. Lifting your heart, your fingers can face forward or out to the sides, whichever is more comfortable. Preparing for one-legged frog kicks. Inhale, lift the right foot. Circle the knee out to the side and swing the leg long. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale into your frog kick. Gently warming the hip, move with your breath. Inhale the knee in and pause. Exhale, figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Heart lifts to the shin. Breathe into the hip. And for more sensation here, you can walk the left foot in closer. For less sensation, walk the foot away from you, straightening that knee. Keep your right foot flexed and relax the jaw. Exhale, release the foot down, rocking forward, hug the knees bowing your head and breathe in farmer's pose. Inhale, lift the head and set the hands behind you once again. Inhale, lift the left foot. Exhale, frog kick out and long. Moving at your pace with the leg. Try to keep a nice lift in your heart. Inhale the knee into the chest. Exhale, figure four, cross the left ankle over the right knee. Make any adjustments to the bend in that right knee, either extending it farther away from you or bringing the foot in closer. And wherever you land, take a deep breath in to lift the heart to the shin and then relax into the stretch. Exhale, set the foot down and rocking forward. This time, wrap the arms under the knees. Holding on, take a deep breath in, lengthening the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, bow the head, folding in. Feel that nice release down the length of your spine. This feels really good in my low back. Let your eyes close and just breathe.
Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, cross the shins, coming into all fours for child's pose. Hips on the heels, arms back by your sides. If you're using a knee pad today, you can place it on your mat now. I'm just using this simple yoga blanket. If you're not using one, just stay in child's pose for now. On your inhale, with strength, rise to the knees, sweeping the arms to the sky. Exhale, child's pose, arms back. Again, inhale, pressing away with the knees and the tops of the feet. Rise, reaching up. Exhale, fold, child's pose. Keep going with your breath. We'll call this little flow waking worm. Next exhale, child's pose and stay. This time, arms extend forward. Inhale, rise to tabletop. Once here, arch the back like you're in cow belly. Exhale, hinge forward, bringing the chest and chin to the mat. Your seat is high like a little inchworm. Stay here or maybe bend the knees, pointing the toes to the sky. On your inhale, belly flattens. Cobra pose, pull your heart forward. Exhale, child's pose. We'll do that again. Slowly inhale, rise and arch the back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Maybe flick your worm tail up. Inhale, pull through to cobra. Elbows hug the ribs. Exhale, child's pose. A couple more on your own. Eager earthworm flow. This is your last round. After you inhale to Cobra Pose, exhale, tuck the toes for Downward Facing Dog. Press up through tabletop, lifting your seat to the sky. Soften your knees and gaze back between the legs. Slow the breath down. 
If you're using a blanket or a knee pad today, take a moment to place it off to the right side of your mat. From down dog, feet together. Inhale, float the right leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee out to the side and shifting forward, place the knee on the earth in line with your hip, preparing for half frog. So the knee should be in a right angle, supported by the blanket or pad, or maybe it's on the ground. Coming into Sphinx arms, elbows stack under the shoulders, palms are flat. Take a moment to make any adjustments. You can stay on the elbows or lower down, making goalposts arms, resting your left cheek on the mat. Relax here. Notice the breath inflating in the belly. Getting ready to transition out. Place the hands under the shoulders, tuck the left toes, press yourself into three-legged dog, right leg to sky. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest and step up through the hands. Just do your best here. We're gonna drop the back knee and untuck the toes. Pausing in this low lunge. You can stay here with the hands framing the front foot or heel toe that right foot off to the side, bringing the hands to the inside of the foot in lizard lunge. Hands are about shoulder width here. Keep hugging that right knee in on the right shoulder. Breathe. Inhale, heel toe back to center, framing the foot with your hands. Tuck the back toes and lift the knee. From here, we're going to bring the back knee forward. Place it down to the outside of your front heel. Sitting down as if you were coming into a seated twist. Once in this position, we're gonna slide the right foot forward and step it to the right a little bit. Getting ready for a pose called Praying Mantis. Thread your left arm under the knee and pressing the palms together. Rotate your heart to the thumbs and look up over your shoulder. And create a little resistance between your left forearm and the right thigh to rotate the heart open even more. Pause here and breathe.
Inhale, look down to release. Walk your hands forward. Grounding into that right foot, float your left leg to the sky for just a moment. Exhale, place that foot down to the outside of your right foot. You're in a cross-legged fold with the right shin in front. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bowing down. You can bend the knees as much as you'd like here. Breathing into the hamstrings, into the hips. Inhale, lift halfway, maybe lifting to fingertips or hands to shins. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise to standing, send your arms high. On your exhale, squeezing the legs together, T-twist to the right. Reach your right arm back, left arm forward. Extending in both directions for revolved bird. Steady the gaze. There's a little balancing required here. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, swan dive, folding down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot steps back, and then right foot for downward facing dog. Pausing here, come back to the breath. From here, setting your pad or blanket to the left side of your mat now. From downward facing dog, feet together. Inhale, left leg lifts high and behind. Exhale, bending the knee out to the side. Shift forward and place the leg to the left side of your mat so that the knee lines up with the hip. In Ardha Mandukasana or half frog. Making any adjustments Prop yourself up on the elbows and sphinx arms to start. Shining the heart forward. Feel free to stay on the elbows, or you can lower down, opening the arms like they're goalposts, resting the right cheek on the mat.
preparing to move, bringing your chin to the mat, your hands under shoulders, tuck the right toes for three-legged dog, exhale, sweep the left leg high and behind, and bringing knee to chest, step the left foot through the hands. Dropping the back knee, untuck the toes and pause. Shining the heart forward, breathe into the stretch. You can stay here or coming into a low lizard lunge. Heel toe the left foot to the side a little bit so the hands can be under the shoulders. Hugging the left knee in on the shoulder. Keep the chin lifted and breathe. You'll toe the foot back to center, framing it with your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. And when you're ready, springing that back knee forward, set it down to the outside of your front heel. Sitting down as if you were coming into a seated twist. We're gonna slide the left foot forward and off to the left side a little bit. And when you're ready, threading the right arm under the knee for praying mantis. Pressing the palms together. Rotate your heart to the thumbs. Pressing palm into palm in this prayer twist. You can look over the top shoulder to the sky. To release, inhale, looking down. Walking the hands forward. Shift weight into the left foot. Rising up, sweep the right leg to sky. Just for a moment here. Flexing that floating foot, slowly set it down to the outside of your left foot. So you're in a cross-legged forward fold with the left shin in front. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, folding in. Breathing into the stretch. Inhale, lift halfway, coming onto fingertips or hands to shins. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise, sweeping the arms up to the sky. Exhale, T-twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Feel the legs squeezing into one another as you reach the arms out of the shoulders. Thumbs are pointing up. 
steady the gaze for revolved bird. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Left foot steps to meet it. Take a moment enjoying the full body stretch. Coming back to the breath. Now in your own way, coming to lie on the back. You can jump through to a seat or simply drop the knees. We're gonna land with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor. Inhale the arms overhead, bending the elbows, creating a full moon shape around the head. Heel toe the feet as wide as the mat. And gently swish the knees from side to side in a fluid twist. Keeping the feet wide. The knees will stagger as they fall from side to side. Inhale the knees to center and then draw them into the chest, hugging the shins. From here, we're going to extend the arms and the legs to the sky. Reaching upward, but finding an effortless stack to the bones. You can stay still just like this or Feel free to shake the legs and arms with vigor in wiggly worms. This is very silly, I know, but there is something to this. Shaking the body like this is a great way to relieve stress and to ease an overstimulated nervous system. Have some fun with it. After a few breaths, find stillness keeping the legs and arms extended. Notice what's happened energetically. And then on the exhale, you can draw the knees into the chest one more time before extending out into Shavasana for a final rest. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out of the mouth to settle in and enjoy your rest.
slowly transitioning back. Start to deepen the breath. Bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor. Gently roll to your right side for the fetal position and to receive today's closing reading. The earth is cool and dark and far below new life begins. May the soil be blessed with fertility and abundance, with rains of life-giving water, with the warmth of the sun, with the energy of the raw earth. May the soil be blessed as the womb of the land becomes fruitful and full to bring forth the garden anew. And that's from Patty Wigington, Garden Blessing for Ostara. Taking that with us, press up to a comfortable seat with the hands at heart center. Thank you for sharing this full warm moon in Virgo with me. It was my privilege as always to practice with you. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other and all our relations. Before you leave, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which pose was your favorite today. Also, please find and follow me on Instagram at Moon Medicine Yoga. Check the description for more ways to support the channel. You can become a member, join the Patreon, or shop some affiliate links. And I hope you enjoyed this class. I'll be back before long for the new moon and with some other lovely practices. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you again soon. On the mat and under the moon.